I'm Dr. Jim Kirkconnell of Bellevue Eye Care Center in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, we see a lot of diabetic patients in our office. In fact, uh, if past the age of 40, probably 20% of people have some form of diabetes. Um, so the question is, uh, how do you take care of the eye with diabetes? Well, um, the first thing is to get good control of your diabetes. And today, it's not just your fasting blood glucose level that we think about, it's your A1C. And that's something that either your primary physician or uh, your endocrinologist needs to work with you. So the more control you get uh, in your um, blood glucose, the better off you'll be. Because we know that diabetes affects the eye, the kidney, and the feet. Uh, in the eye, that's uh, the center part of the vision here that we are typically more concerned about. If uh, somebody is um, diabetic for, uh, let's say, five years and has a moderate case of diabetes, what happens is uh, first you'll get some uh, beating changes of the vessels, which means they'll get fat and skinny like this. You can get small hemorrhages that the doctor will see. You can have leakage uh, out of the capillaries, which is called ex exudates, which are white patches. Uh, so that's an indication of an early problem. Uh, if it's something that uh, gets worse uh, as time goes by and somebody is just unlucky, then uh, you can get capillaries that grow in as new, as new growth because the eye is, says it wants more oxygen. And that's the only thing they can do is to try to produce new vessels. Uh, treatment today for, th for any of this, when it gets to a certain stage where it's at least a moderate problem, is to reduce the oxygen demand uh, in, the, in the retina. And that is done by uh, the doctor uh, putting small burns in uh, r the retina where it stays away from the vessels, and that reduces the, the oxygen demand of the retina. And that really is a good way to keep things from getting worse. Now, if somebody uh, doesn't take care of him or herself, uh, then uh, you're going to have more problems and, and then you have to consider going to a retinal specialist and there are things that are done in regards to, uh, in fact, have, getting small scissors to do repair. Uh, uh, that is not a nice situation to be in. Uh, routine eye care for someone who's diabetic absolutely should be coming in every year, having complete dilated eye exam to make sure that uh, you don't have any problems or if, if you have problems to monitor them. Uh, the uh, best way to monitor them, if there's something that's evident, is to photograph it. Uh, so we have a retinal camera in this office, and anybody who has, has diabetes that actually is showing up, uh, that's the best way to document it. If, if uh, something is uh, more severe, or if somebody just wants an extra level of um, feeling that they're doing the best for their eyes, they can go to somebody who's a retinal specialist. Uh, a lot of times the uh, evaluation when you have uh, a mild to medium problem is to inject uh, dye in the arm and then it, uh, there, there are pictures that are taken of the circulation pattern of the eye and that's usually done at, at the retinal specialist's office.